Hello. Today we're gonna view this RC RC from Nam from Nam Motor from Target. It's from a company driven by Bata. It have lights and sound and control the big scoop thing. What color is it? Orange. And? Gray. Black. How old do you need to play this? Three plus. Three plus. The sky will be three tomorrow. Yes. In more hours. Three. And three tomorrow. No? Already. Alright. Do you have past it? Okay. Okay. Also you pass twenty? Also pass four? Uh Loader. Loader. You gonna put okay. this you can put Trump. this you can, you can do do you can do this. You can put this up you can put you can open this trunk up also down. You like it? Yeah. You press the button, this up, this also, down. Also there's a sign here. A sign here. Do you want to see the sign? And you want to play with other trucks. Yeah. And then tomorrow I will give it to Sky when he when Sky is bigger. Do you want to make it but do not break it. No. no. It, it will not work. Not work. It will not work. Can you? Can it work? One thing about Sandy. Good. One thing about Mason. Good. Let's open it. The driven by Batat RC midrange front end loader is a remote controlled construction vehicle that can be used to move dirt, gravel, and other materials around a construction site. It is one of the most popular models of remote controlled construction vehicles on the market. However, like all products, it has its pros and cons. Let's look at the advantages first. 1. The RC Midrange Front End Loader is very durable and well-made. It is made from high-quality materials and is built to last. 2. This remote-controlled construction vehicle is very realistic and looks just like a real front-end loader. It even has working headlights. 3. The loader is very easy to control. It has two joysticks that are used to control the direction and speed of the vehicle. 4. This vehicle is very affordable. It is one of the most reasonably priced models on the market. About the drawbacks. 1. It does not have a lot of features. It does not have a backhoe or a bucket that can be raised or lowered. 2. This vehicle is not very fast. It has a maximum speed of only 2 miles per hour. 3. The vehicle is not very maneuverable. It is not able to turn very sharply and can only move forward and backward. Overall, the toy loader is a great product. It is well made, realistic, and easy to control. However, it does have some drawbacks. It is not very fast or maneuverable and does not have many features. But, it is still a great value for the price. No. No USB charging? Yeah. Can you no. need AA battery? AA battery. AA battery. Also, who gets a screwdriver? I can get Okay.
Thank you.